Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number six from the June 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level Edexcel exam. This question here is about series. We're told about a software developer who releases an app to download. The number of downloads of the app each month in thousands. Now, here's an important point here. Okay, in thousands. For the first three months after the app was released were given by these expressions. So these are in thousands. So you have 2K minus 15, thousand. K thousand and K plus four, thousand are the um, number of downloads for the first three months. So that's like after the first month. Let's get that sorted out, sorry. This would be like the number of downloads after the first month. After the second month, after the third month, in thousands. Okay, so um, K is a constant. Given that the numbers of downloads each month are modeled as a geometric series, show that K squared minus 7K minus 60 equals zero. So for this part of the question here, we have to understand that we have also here a geometric series. Now, a geometric series is one where you have what's called a common ratio. To get to one term to the next, you multiply by the same ratio, the same number. Okay, and to find the common ratio in a geometric series, you divide a term by the term before it. So if I divert, divide the third term by the second term, it should give you the common ratio. And if I divert the, divide the second term by the first term, it should also give me that same common ratio. So one way to connect these together to make an equation is to use the fact that the ratio of the third term to the second term, k plus 4 over k, is going to give me the same ratio as the second term divided by the first term. Okay, so that should give me um, this equation. All right, that should give me this equation if I simplify it. Now, because it tells us to show this equation, I can't just write this equation as my answer now. I have to show how this becomes that. So this is like the first step. You, put, you get a mark for writing this, and there'll be another mark for your steps which show that this becomes that. So you show that you cross multiply. So I'll have k plus 4 times 2k minus 15. So I multiply both sides by 2k minus 15, and also multiply both sides by k, so it's k times k and gives you k squared. Then when you expand this bracket, you have k times 2k, which is 2k squared, and k times minus 15k, minus 15, which is minus 15k, 4 times 2k, which is plus 8k, and 4 times negative 15, which is negative 60, equals k squared and finally if we subtract k squared from both sides so it says equals zero you got 2k squared minus 1k squared which is k squared and you got minus 15k minus plus 8k which is minus 7k and minus 60 equals zero so that's what you need to show to get those two marks and we have answered part a now for part b it says here predict the number of downloads in the fourth month the number of downloads in the fourth month so um, in thousands these are the downloads in the first second and third month okay so for us to find what those are and therefore find what the number of downloads in the fourth month are or is we need to find the value of k so we need to take this equation and solve it so if we solve this equation we can factorize Okay, you're going to have k and k because it's k squared. Can you put it straight into two brackets? You've got a negative product, which means one of these terms must be a positive and one must be a negative inside this bracket. And two numbers multiply. The product is negative 60 and the sum is negative 7. Well, if you think about ways of getting 60 and here we'll need a difference of 7 because of different signs. Well, we think, can think of 12 times 5. 12 times 5 is 60 and 12 and 5, the difference between them is 7. Now, we want a negative 7 sum, so the 12 must be the negative uh, in the negative bracket and the 5 in the positive bracket. So we can say, therefore, that k is equal to negative 5 or k is equal to 12. Now, it can't be negative 5 in this context because you can't have a negative number of downloads. So k equals 12 is the answer. So we end up with 2k minus 15, so that's 2 times um, 12 minus 15 and 12 and 12 plus 4 so that's 24 minus 15 which is 9 and 12 and 16 so therefore we can say the 9000 
downloads and 12,000 downloads and 16,000 downloads because these are in thousands right these are in thousands so these are the actual numbers of downloads 9,000 12,000 and 16,000 uh, okay and from this we can work out what the common ratio is so the common ratio is a term divided by the previous term so we don't even need the thousands because you know they will cancel out so 12 over 9 would be give you give you what what goes into here that's going to be uh, 3 12 divided by 3 and 9 so it's 4 over 3 so the common ratio is 4 over 3 that's what you go to multiply by a term to get to the next term so therefore we can say the fourth month okay the fourth the fourth month when the fourth month is over okay in in the fourth month you're going to have 16000 times 4 over 3 okay so we work out what that is 16000 times 4 over 3 16000 times 4 over 3 and that gives us uh, 21,333.3 recurring so 21,333.3 continues so uh, let's answer let, let's give the answer to 3SF that's 21,300 downloads in 3SF okay if it's not an exact answer you should give it to 3 3SF so there's the there is the answer for the number of downloads in the fourth month so yeah now we're going to do um, part C it says the total number so let's just write that we had 9,000 we had 12,000 we had 16,000 we had the common ratio was 4 over 3 those are the things that we found in the last question we also had the fourth one but I don't think we need it here it says the total number of all downloads of the app is predicted to exceed 3 million for the first time in the nth month Okay, that, that we're talking about the sum of all the downloads. Okay, calculate the value of n according to this model. Okay, so we need to deal here with the sum, <clears throat> the sum of the terms. So the sum of the first n terms is given by the formula A times, and now if you have a common ratio which is greater than 1, which we do, then use r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. Now in this case, our n is capital N our um, SN is equal to 3 million so 3 times 10 to the power of 6 our A is equal to the first term which is 9000 and our R is equal to 4 over 3 so if I find the value of N okay where the number of downloads will equal 3 million then I can work out the value of N for which they'll exceed 3 million Okay, so let's first work out um, what this is. So you have uh, basically um, 3 times 10 to the power of 6 is equal to A, which is 9,000, the first term, times R, which is 4 over 3 to the power of N minus 1, all over R minus 1, which is 4 over 3 minus 1, which is basically one third. So now we have 3 times 10 to the power of 6, equals 9,000 times 4 over 3 to the power of n minus 1 over 1 third. 4 over 3 minus 1 is 1 third, right? Okay, so that's 4 over 3 minus 3 over 3, 1 third. If I multiply by both sides by 1 third, 1 third times 3 million is 1 million, so there's 1 times 10 to the power of 6. I can also divide by 9,000, so that's 9 times 10 to the power of 3, Okay, equals, and you've got 4 over 3 and to the power of n minus 1. So this is going to give me um, basically 1,000 over 9. So 1,000 over 9 equals um, 4 over 3 to the power of n. Okay, I'm going to call, I'm going to call this capital N, by the way. Okay, minus 1. Okay, so now um, I'm going to add one to both sides. So that's going to be 1,000 over 9 plus 9 over 9. So that's 1,000 and 9 over 9 equals 4 over 3 to the power of n. In fact, I'll keep this as small n because capital N will be the final answer. So let's, let's keep this as small n for now. And then I can give the final answer as capital N. We have to think about a bit at the end okay so now i need to solve this 
exponential equation. So uh, what we can do is we can take logs of both sides. So if I take log of to the base of 4 over 3, try to take log of the base um, to which the power that you need to find is raised. So log to the base of 4 over 3 would be the easiest way of doing this, of 1009 over 9, okay, is equal to, this would be n, because log to the base 4 over 3, um, log to the base 4 over 3 or 4 over 3 to the power of n will give you just n by the power law. Okay, now, I can work out what this is using my calculator. I have um, log, this one, with the base, which is also something you can enter here, 4 over 3, so that's the base, log to the base 4 over 3 of 1009 over 9. So that's going to give me 16.405. So n equals 16.405. Now, that means the the sum, okay, by uh, uh, by basically the sixteenth um, month is going to be um, by the uh, by is going to be equal to three million, okay. So it's going to be the value of n we need is going to be seventeen. Why? Because it's going to be the next month in which the sum will have exceeded uh, seventeen. Um, sorry, third th uh, three million. Okay. So what this means here is basically that you see what the the um, the n is like that you have the number of downloads for the first month was nine thousand. That was the end of the first month. That's how much how much was downloaded in that first month. By the end of that first month, that's what it means. Then by the end of the second month, twelve thousand. By the end of the third month, it's going to be um, as we as we saw, it was twenty four. Uh, was it twenty four thousand? It was 16,000. It was 16,000. And so on. All right. So we have this geometric series. Now, basically, by the 16th month, okay, right, when you get to the 16th month, the number of downloads is going to be 3 million. In that 16th month, it's going to reach, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, 3 million before you get there, right? But the 17th month, it will have, the sum will have exceeded uh, 3 million. Okay, by the 17th month okay because up to this point it's going to be less than 3 million okay so the next month in the 17th uh, the 17th month that's the month in which it's going to have first exceeded 3 million okay so n is equal to 17 here and that's the answer to part c and that concludes this question okay so that's the end of this question number six i hope that was clear other questions from this particular uh, paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here from this P2 June, to, June 2023 paper. Other questions on the topic of series from P1, P2 of um, Cambridge can be, uh, sorry, of Edexcel, sorry, can be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel or you can see other, yeah, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video here, which will take you to, or tell you how to use my channel effect, effectively. Thank you for watching and see you soon.